And we are live. Welcome back, everyone, to another live stream. How is it going? Let me get BFEB in here real quick. Paste that. Awesome. And there we go. Is anyone else streaming? Hopefully not. Hopefully you guys don't hear a uh, odd noise upstairs. It is uh, a vibration sound, so... I don't know, maybe the mic has to be against the wall in order to hear that, but I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Let's see. Hello, Mr. Beefab. Yeah, what that mouth do? What the mouth do? <laughs> That's a sexual joke. <laughs> huh? My mouth yeah. not do nothing. Welcome, yeah. Brick Trooper. How's it going? And how are you, Beefab? I am doing all right. Uh, I think I have Corona. So, are you showing any symptoms? Yeah, my uh, my uh, wiener got smaller. Uh, yeah, that's not a symptom. It should oh, be damn. bigger. It should be getting bigger. <laughs> Mutated wieners. <laughs> yes, coronavirus enlarges things. <laughs> oh, I hope I get it then. <laughs> Oh, so Eric, is that true what you said to me? That you're, you're actually helping your parents? Uh, yes, sign? everything was getting sold out today. So we had to get out there real quick and uh, grab stuff. So uh, I got back at like nine and started putting everything away. It took a while because it was a lot. So that's why I wasn't able to stream sooner or at 730-ish whenever I first started this or first started on Monday. So the crazy thing is I didn't wake up till about nine and I don't know what time I texted wow. you. Um, maybe I like nine thirteen. Ten seventeen. Oh yeah, you're right. Our times are different. Time. Yeah. 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 So right for here. me, I uh I woke up and then I texted you a couple minutes later and I'm like, Oh shoot, we were supposed to stream. So Yeah, well, I didn't forget. I knew I was gonna still stream. I'm I'm just like super tired right now, but uh still That's a great excuse. <laughs> I mean here's the thing. I mean since you're going to be gone really soon, my goal is to stream with you as much as possible, you know? Um, yeah, I got gotcha. you. So. Yeah. Well, um, I, I'll i try next Sunday, you know, the 22nd to stream before I leave. Uh, but definitely next Monday and Tuesday, I'll be able to stream. Yeah. I mean, the goal is also I want to do like a farewell stream on my channel too soon. Aww. So you and me, just us two. Just like we did for Mr. Mike, and then he came back, and pow, he was on it again. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you, man. Appreciate that. Well, maybe we could do that next Sunday then. Because we'll start crying. <laughs> DMK Mox, welcome. Hi. Uh, hello. I'm losing my mind now. I'm sorry. I better not have the coronavirus too. <laughs> Wake Bill, sleep, repeat. Welcome. Thank you so much, Colin. How is it going? I found an old note of mine. I'm trying to see. Bye. At, I don't know what that is. Buy at economical two thousand fifty dollars. What? I don't know if you understand this. September thirtieth, twenty nineteen. That wasn't that long ago. I don't understand it. With an exchange rate of nine thousand. What am I doing? <laughs> non refundable funds. Okay. Uh, delete. I'm gonna throw that away. I've been seeing you guys stream a lot, but I was in Colorado, so I wanted to spend the time I had on the kit. Yeah, man. Dude, where's that? Dude, where's our invite, bro? Like, you should have paid for Eric and I to come and hang out with you. <laughs> <laughs> you hang out in Colorado. You're able to have marijuana there, medical marijuana. Ooh. That's one of the first states, I think. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Let's see. Um, I gotta write up my list for boot camp all the numbers names and addresses of my fellow family members but the sad thing um did you read anything that i wrote in the instagram thing earlier today or not earlier a little bit ago so uh the boot camp uh graduation has been closed so yeah yeah no one's coming and especially for people that graduate this week um, my technical sergeant sent out the email and uh, he said, oh, all these people are sending this message. So send this message to your families for when you are graduating uh, now so that they know not to buy tickets and waste their money pretty much is what they were saying. Like the, the government doesn't sound like they're going to pay 
these people back for uh you know buying these tickets to go see their uh their airmen graduate so that's kind of messed up hopefully they had their refundable types yeah. but yeah my, my family won't be able to come now it's so messed up yeah that sucks a lot of stuff seemed to be uh happening so yeah fingers are crossed that potentially boot camp would be shut down because one patient or a couple patients are going to lackland where i'm going to be at so it's going to be a little crazy um and if it you know expands from there and lackland get like 10 cases and one death hopefully they close it so they have like 10 days 10 12 days before we go yeah the 23rd 12 days Brick Bunnies, welcome. I think I already said that. I'm sorry if I didn't or did. I'm losing my mind. I'm sorry. Lego Boss, one, two, three, welcome as well. Thank you so much for coming. How's it going? All right. Let me write this up. Did... Let me go grab my bread. I made sure I had some bread. Also, yesterday I went to the gym. Felt really good. I repped. Oh, the bar's 50, right? So I did 120 pounds, and I did 80 reps yesterday. So that was nothing for some reason. Also, Ryan, if you're here, like, again, I got to say this. Like I said yesterday on yesterday's stream. So he said he had the thing that supports him. You know, the thing that holds the weight stable? Like the you know Smith, the thing? Smith machine? The ones where, like, the weight, the bar is in place and it doesn't move? Yeah, Smith machine. Yeah, yeah. That's so fucking easy. Like yeah. I remember Ryan, what Ryan was telling me, he's like, he's like, I oh I do thirty five on each side, but then he also said he used that machine. It makes it so easy. Like literally, like I was just pumping that like it's nothing because literally you're not focusing on holding the bar straight up. You're hold you're focusing on just pushing up, which is really easy to do. On that yeah. one, I probably could have benched a lot more, but like right now, I'm fine benching one twenty. I did eighty reps at one twenty, um, so I was happy with that. 80 reps? Yes, but I did it over time. I was in the gym for like an hour and a half. I don't do it all at once. I'm not just there like, you know, let's were do you, 80 at once. Were you only at that station the whole time you were there? No, no, I wasn't. Okay, so I do you like... just kept coming I do, back to it because there's correct, no one yeah. there. Yeah, okay. correct, yeah. Because I can do I can do that much in a row. 80 reps in a row would kill me. So I'd do, let's say, 10 or, or 15 in a row, and then I'd stop, and then I'd do it again, you know? 80 so reps, to... or um, what was the weight again? 120. 120, okay. Yeah, it's not too bad. I could probably do like 20 reps in a row for that. And then yeah. you know, keep coming back to it. The thing is for me, yeah, I keep coming back because I can't do, I couldn't do, like if you told me to do 80 reps in a row, I couldn't do it. It'd be impossible for me. But doing it in yeah. segments like 10 here, you know, go work and do something else, do another 10 there, do 20 there. You know, it, it's easier after that. I didn't yeah. even, I could have done more after that. It wasn't even bothersome. Usually I can't do things that easily, but I think I've gotten used to it. Um, you know, that being said, I wasn't going to the, go to the gym yesterday and Doc made me like, he guilted me. He's like, beef, I'm going to the gym. I'm like, oh, frick, damn it. Fine, I'll go. So oh, that's good. And today yeah, I have I to go too. Yeah, I, I was going to go today, but I got stuck uh, doing all the errands and such. So I wasn't able to, um, sadly, but uh, I still got like 8,000 steps in because I was walking all over the, the store trying to find all this stuff that was sold out it was crazy um rest in peace nba yes i heard that's crazy march madness but they still will be you know broadcasting it just they won't have fans I, my bread. I won't talk but you guys can hear me because of the white people at your pods okay no problem oh shoot that's my dad's number what the heck or that's my number gotta redo this card then uh, I'm trying to get my addresses done because I bring that to boot camp. Um, but I just messed that up. Darn it. All right. Uh, Deppy, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. How's it going? What is going on, Eric and BFAP? Not much, man. How's it going for you? Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Yeah, my day is all right. Uh, tomorrow will hopefully be a little bit better. Get, get a lot done. Actually, I did do quite a bit today but uh you know just got to get some more done and uh go to the gym um i won't be able to go to the gym in the morning tomorrow because my dad will have my car so that stinks but um hopefully uh later t tomorrow i can do it welcome sans how's it going so i just walked past my little brother's room and his door's open 
And, uh, I'm pretty sure you're scratching its nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see that. Yeah, I don't want to see that either. That's that's weird. Let's see. Ah, uh, I want to donate, but I'm broke. No problem, man. You don't need to donate. Appreciate it, man. You spend your money on your uh, your family if you have money for uh, the coronavirus preparing. I could have stacked up on toilet paper, and I'm gonna have to use my uh, my clothing yeah. again. So, well, just get paper towels. Seems like paper towels are still at the stores and such. Um, get rid of the American Eagle shirts. Have to. <laughs> I'm going down. Yeah, my dad, uh, luckily, the other day, we picked up a big one at uh, Sam's, and then I think he purchased something from Amazon. So I think we'll be covered. I feel like people are overreacting. Here's the thing. I understand people prepping, but, like, there's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of uh, things, like, a lot of, like, cases regarding the coronavirus. Like, I'm not saying it's not going to happen, but, you know, if it does, you know, you'll figure it out. Like, I'll see people using, like, Tissue paper to wipe their ass with their uh, toilet paper. Yeah, yeah, they'll they'll figure it out. <laughs> Go to the older days or uh, get a uh, what are those uh, Japanese toilets called? Um, oh yeah, Doc City. You know, Doc City has one of those. They spray your ass. Yeah, yeah. So get one of those. Welcome, Lego Freak. How's it going? And the Purple Stud. Welcome. Thank you both for coming. How's it going? Uh, my life oh, is going nice. horrible. I'm. Stream hopping on five streams or stay on this stream. You don't have to worry about those other streams. And we're not going to be streaming for too long, so you can pop up on there's I'm not sure how long I'm going to stream for, but uh, you know, just thought I should stream before I go to bed. Hey, Josh B, fuck off. Okay, sorry. Let's see. Let me delete that comment. Go get a loaf outside. I actually have like ten loaves of bread now because we stocked up on loaves of bread. So uh, I should have done that. Eight of them are in the freezer, though. <laughs> so we got a lot. Let's see. All right, let me redo this now. I said leaf. Oh, you said leaf? Oh, Lego leaf ball. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll leave. Um, no, to wipe your wipe your ass. What? Gotcha. Okay. Well, that works too. Um, I've been buying stuff animals for that reason. So, <laughs> no, we use bread then. You know? Oh, actually, use bread? Hell no. Oh God, that actually. Yeah, I don't know. If that, that that's that's something it hurt, especially like the sourdough bread. <laughs> Well, you could just go to Walmart and get like the eighty cent uh, bread, and just use that since it's super cheap. You're telling me there's a thing called that's eighty cent bread. Yeah, Walmart has their own generic bread. Um, that I for saw today. eighty cents. Oh my! I'm pretty God, sure is... I saw a loaf for eighty cents, and there's like fifteen, sixteen uh, pieces in there or something. Oh damn. Uh, I mean, the cheapest bread I see is this Trader Joe's sourdough bread, which is three dollars, which is amazing. <laughs> well, that's good that your bread is uh, cheap. Well, this is the cheapest one I get. Then I usually get the Ezekiel bread, and that costs like five, six dollars. So, uh, let's see, no, not for a donkey, but uh, thin royal buttocks. <laughs> uh, let's see, and and then you could sell this. To... I'm not even going to fit it. Oh, gosh, that's gross. Nasty, man. Get out of here. What? Why would you bring that up? <laughs> um, <Ew. laughs> Love it. <laughs> oh, that's funny as heck. Okay, and now, mom. Um... No purple stud. No. Yeah, he's nasty. Well, I know where BFEP is off to tonight. To My mind is pure, guys. It's pure. <laughs> he's off to the gym. Oh, the my gym. God. Let's see. Hey, BFAB says like a boss. Hi, BFAB. How is your day going? Says Debbie. 
horrible. Was horrible it? guy. The network isn't doing good tonight. <laughs> How's it going, um Deppy, Lego Boss, Purple Stud, Brick Collector, Brick Bunnies? Uh, Lego Freak, all you guys. What is my mom's number? There it is. Do you guys me chomping? Yes, we hear the chops. Welcome, Brick Collector. How's it going? Thank you so much for coming. What's up? Uh, no fake gin blade. Yes, fake gin blade done. Man, I love it when my day is horrible. BFAB. Hashtag relayable. <laughs> um, yeah. Hello there, Mr. Vision Bricks. How's it going? Vision. General Kenobi. Let's see. I might be allergic to hand sanitizer. Not even joking. Oh, wow. That is crazy, man. Hand sanitizer was sold out he, in stores today. I thought he was going to say he's allergic to handsome people, and I'm like, handsome. Well, that's cool. So handsome. All the women that look like men are handsome. What? <laughs> Vision, can I ask you a question? What's up with your uh, Lego alien video? I was confused. It looked really cool, but I wasn't sure what he was trying to get at. So, was it like a complete video or what? I it was like a fourteen. I don't know. Second thing. Yeah, I, I watched it earlier today. So, I saw something on Instagram that he posted about aliens, but uh, yeah, I wasn't sure either. Oh, wow, that's funny. My mom and my stepmom have exactly the last three digits, and then. One less or one more of the last number. That is crazy. I never mm. knew that. Hey, Shy's here. Can we get Shy in the in the in the thing? Oh, Shy, if you'd like to join, you are welcome to. Just let us know. Let us know if you have enough water. If you have a lot of water, you are able to join. Beefab, do you have a lot of water? You know, it's funny. My mother bought two cases of water today, and then chewed me out for not buying her water. Uh, because I, she gave me uh, my dad's debit card. She's like, go buy some water. And I forgot to get it. So, Well, you don't have enough water to join us, BFAB, so we're going to have to kick you out. Oh, no. I'm used to it. I have about 12 cases of water. Damn. We shall survive this apocalypse. On water. Well, here's the thing. We know how to boil water, so if we're going to just boil our uh, tap water. No, we have a filter. I'm stupid. We have a filter for a reason. Let's see, Eric Bfeb hit the gym last night. Same. I did, but not as early. Get me in, coach. Right. Okay. I got you. Let's see. Lots of people saying hello to each other. What the heck is that? Very fat. Okay. Um, someone just Instagram me again. I thought I blocked that person. Maybe it's a new account. Um, how are the kids shy? Not sound creepy. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a mock or two from it. I'm getting some figures sent out to review from a company, and one of the figures is Ripley. Is that a character in Aliens? That's cool, man. Shots, Ooh. Iris. Yeah, and... I texted you the, I texted you the link to join. So he's here. Hello, what up? that was fast. Hello. That was quick. Hello. You came faster than anybody ever knew, so. That's what she said. <laughs> I know. You better say that. <laughs> Ooh, DMK Mox. Beef I met a girl. Ooh, and? Did you go on a date, or did you just meet a girl? He got a girl hooked up, got STDs, and that's how the story goes, so. <laughs> it was a great story. Wait, so you're not going uh, to have anyone for graduation see you? See you? Uh, unless everything is cleared up by the time I graduate, but right now it doesn't look like I will. Dude, that sucks. I know it's crazy. They canceled, you know, pretty much a lot of the events 
other than like they're going to have the airmen run so they're going to live stream that but other events were probably just going to be super you know just in the group or something so do that sucks it's going to be crazy you know uh, but i guess it's going to be a uh, Beneficial for everyone not getting coronavirus. You know what? I'll be there. I got you. I'll be there. <laughs> Sneak on base. Oh, I got this. I'm Sneak black. On. I have my black skills. I'll hop over the fence and get in. <laughs> nah, man. That's you first. <laughs> Come on, Shai. You know how us black people are, okay? Eric can't relate, but, <laughs> uh, but us black people, we can get rid of, we can get away with anything. We've been practicing running from the cops for years. <laughs> True. <laughs> But they just go on their stank plays. It's crazy. Now, for everyone who's offended, both Shy and I are half black. So yeah, together we make that. one black guy. <laughs> yes. Let's see. Uh, yes, Ripley is an alien character. She's played by um, Weaver. I'm just going to say Weaver, Miss Weaver, uh, and is like the main character. Oh, okay. So like the originals, um, she was she was the main character in there. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I haven't watched originals in a little while, so... I know that it's a female as a main character, but yeah. Uh, I was wondering what happened to you, Dane at Purple. Okay. We just pretty much talked. That's all, really. Ooh. Oh, that's boring. Come on, buddy. I can talk to females, too. But if you're not getting some action... Oh, wait a second. This is coming from the Virgin. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Hello, Will. I'm there now, man. Uh, sucks, Eric. Yeah. It, it's pretty crazy. Um you know, it'd be interesting if I get an email here in a couple of days of like, oh, all bases have been shut or um, all new recruits are going to be delayed or, or something. That would be even crazier. But I, I feel like that the military is going to still let us go in and just give us extra shots or if not the vaccine. Yeah, I don't. Train never stops because there's a pandemic. The military still functions. Two soldiers died. Because of coronavirus at boot camp, but we're still training new soldiers. Because few of the uh, patients from um, the ships, the uh, ships off the coast of uh, Oakland, California, are being transferred to Blackland. Ooh. So I'm like, oh, that's going to be crazy. Uh, hopefully the quarantine works there. But yeah. So uh, Vision said that Tom Hanks and his wife tested for corona, yeah, and it's yeah. true. That oh my is God. Crazy. That's, uh, Especially when you're older, if you get like hit with corona, that might not be that good. Yeah, I feel <laughs> that well, it might not be that good. It isn't good. Yeah, he's such a great guy, and uh, his last movie potentially is Greyhound. That's crazy. I think that the last movie, if he dies, or you know, hopefully survives, <laughs> I'm not saying he's coming back, but you know, I don't know. would it, would be uh, the uh, the other one, the uh, neighborhood. Happy Mr. Day, Rogers. Neighborhood. Yeah. He's very down to earth. I didn't realize how much I liked the guy until I saw him in an interview. So, yeah, I like him. I like I like his character. Yeah, I met him once at Disneyland. Ooh. That's amazing. I, Did I you I smack could. his ass or no? No, they trapped us on the island that you could only take a boat to get on there, and they could, since he got on there, um, they couldn't let anyone in or out. So we were trapped on the island until he wanted to leave. <laughs> Well, that's cool. <laughs> right? That's how I met him. Yeah. I thought you were going to say, like, he, you slapped his ass and ran away or something. No, that's sexual harassment. <laughs> Not if it's Tom Hanks, right? <laughs> <laughs> the guy's like, I tapped his ass and ran. I mean, if you dared me, I probably would. What is uh, what is his um volleyball's name in uh, Castaway? Wilson. Wilson. <laughs> he Isn't his wife his... named Rita Wilson or something? I don't know. Just slap so his to... Wilson maybe. Is it... Isn't he trying to? Is he trying to secretly say his wife has balls or something? Let's see. Let's look this up. See, I'm going to overanalyze this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, his wife is named Rita Wilson. So, I think he's trying to say something. He named his ball Wilson. His wife's name is Rita Wilson. When did they get married? Yeah, look at that. Oh, uh, let's see. 1998? I guess that. 
Uh, when was Castaway? I feel like no, it was 1988. Early. 1988. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. No, 1988. So let's see when I, that movie came out. And we can try to figure out if he's trying to secretly and <laughs> tell us a message or something. Yes. We're going to overanalyze this. Oh, his first movie. Oh, Castaway was in 2000. So he married it. Yeah, he probably was trying to say something. 1988, he he got married, and they came out in 2000, so he was trying to say his wife has balls. <laughs> wow. Jeez. All this time. you guys are, you, Nobody could figure this out until BFAB, Detective BFAB, was on the job. So. <laughs> He's saying he, want his, he wants his wife's balls. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. I am a... <laughs> People would actually think I'm serious. <laughs> Breaking it down with BFAB. Coming soon. All right. Got that all done. Let's see. Uh, it may seem like there is a lot of girls that like me, but I turned a couple down. <laughs> if they're coming on you, dude, that is crazy. At least give them a chance. I mean, here's the thing. It, I've even turned down women, and I look like Gollum. But the, the point is... That like you know like the girls that are too easy to get like I've turned down two women in my life. Um, one was that hot Mexican I showed you photos of. Yeah. Wow. Yubia. Yeah. No, her name her name was Yubia, but she was kind of a slut. So, um, no, I'm just being honest. Um, but she was pretty. Um, but I knew that she was easy. And there was another girl named Nia. Uh, oh, now people are gonna go look through my Facebook and find these girls. Like, did you hear what Beefab said? <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm doing right now. 30 people <laughs> died, and 20 of those people were in the same building. From what? And and the other one's name was uh, Nia, but she just basically dated every single guy, so I just said no to her. So She's also the girl that I paid for the, the uh, paid for her hotel, parking, gave her money, all that stuff, and then she's like, so when are you going to leave? I'm like, oh, screw you. So, yeah. <laughs> she's so rude. Yeah. yeah, you're too nice to women sometimes. <laughs> I think I'm very nice to women. 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 I think all women are uh, beautiful in their own way. Some just look better with uh, personality. I randomly That's just got good. recommended a friend of yours, Beefab. That's weird. But who did? I did. I randomly oh, you just did? got recommended a friend of yours. Who is it? This first name, Annie. Oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did that happen? All right, let's see. I started watching my more Will Smith movies. Nice. I watched the Gemini Man on my way up here to Pennsylvania from the plane on the plane ride. It was interesting. Uh, the premise was a little weird, and uh, how it ended was like, what? So yeah, see you guys later. See ya. Thank you so much for coming from the virus. Okay, they were in the same building. What? Okay, so this was just on the news is what you're saying then. Uh, there are talks of my school closing on Monday because of the virus. There are so many cases in New Jersey now that it's crazy if it does. If it does close through, uh, does close the though. So, It'll be cool because Monday's my birthday. Oh, that's awesome, man. That's perfect timing. Yeah, it sounds like up here uh, or over here is going to be um, Monday. It's probably going to be closed. And then uh, the following Monday, I guess, is going to be a makeup day that was going to be off, but now it's going to be on. So it, it's weird that they're only just going to close for a day. I don't know. I'm sure you um, – how close are you, uh, the Purple Stud, to the martial law um, county? or city town wait someone's on martial law yeah there's a new jersey city town or whatever on martial law must be very bad there it's like new rochester new jersey new rochester new jersey I forget something like that gemini man was all right oh, okay hey gemini man was okay i saw it like you saw it 10 times what the heck your clones uh see so yeah, I, I give a lot of girls a chance but sometimes they do something i don't like 
man, you're so lucky that you get so many girls wanting your attention. That's crazy. He has a he has a big wang. I heard so. Yeah. Let's see, makeup day. Hmm. You gonna make up on what? Put you gonna put makeup on? No, oh, gosh. No. Makeup school gay. Makeup school gay. There are two. There are two new Rochester. Oh wait, there's two martial laws now. Maybe that's what you're saying. That's crazy, man. It's kind of like a, a TV show that came out a few years ago. Called like the Katana. I can't wait to go to the gym again today. You go, girl. You got it. I actually can't. I'm actually kind of excited. So, especially after how many reps I did yesterday, eighty reps of one twenty. I was really happy. Just make sure have... you uh, uh, clean off the machines so you don't get sick. Yeah, I mean that was a good point. I actually didn't think about that. Um, yeah, I got, <laughs> I, I got sick because of, because of the gym. Yeah, same. I got uh, the stomach flu. No, um, yeah, that's what happens when you make out with like ten women in one day. Okay, don't but don't be blaming the gym. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that was oh that was private. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all his wife. <laughs> you know what I mean? Exactly. Like, all of a sudden, like, uh, Shai's wife walks in. She hears that. Oh, <laughs> Shai just starts getting beat up. <laughs> <laughs> Who were they? You that would be out. good entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it'd be bad for you. That'd be like, then I'd be like, no, no, no. I was joking. Oh, really? You Are you sure you're not covering for him? <laughs> uh, oh, she'd come after you. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's I believe that. <laughs> I'm like, it wasn't me. I, I swear I wasn't that woman in drag yesterday. <laughs> uh, Here, I'll figure so, out the, the purple stud. Um, so, Shai, are you working on editing videos? I'm uploading right now, and I am sorting brick. That is dedication. If I could only upload every single day, that'd be amazing. Oh, yeah, wait. but after today, I'm going to film and then re like spend another day worth of editing. Oh, my God. Wow. LJ Johnson reached out to me? Who did? Uh, TTV. Oh. Did I, I call uh, You know how I embarrassed myself and I said you should cast me in uh, the TTV podcast? Oh, like yeah. back at Brickford, Virginia? He actually yeah. messaged me and he's like, hey... I want to know if you want to be a guest star in one of the Brickfeed podcasts in the future. Ooh, that's awesome. Oh, wow. I did yeah, not there you go. That You're making it big now. I, I guess I may, I guess embarrassing myself at a Brick for Virginia was worth it. Oh, for sure. I'll say for sure, LJ. Thanks. For sure, LJ. Thanks. And here we have the contaminated zone in Mr. New Jersey. That's what it said. All right. Thought it was uh, National Guard will help distribute food and clean. Let's say one mile by one mile area. I think actually that's a little bit bigger than a mile. If that's a mile, I'd say that's two mile by two mile. Let's see. I tell people I've seen Infinity War like fifty times, and they always think I'm kidding, but I'm not. I've seen it like three times, so that's crazy. Fifty times. What was it like three hour long movie? Holy cow. Um, let's see. I started watching the 100. I actually like it. Ooh, nice. Um, I watched the recap of it all, and yeah, it was interesting. I think, uh, I think there's a new season on it right now. Let's see, last I heard, there were two, and one case just developed a town over me, over from me. Well, it seems like it's a little bit bigger. Actually, this is one mile radius, but that doesn't look like a mile, it looks a little bit bigger. But yeah, it says uh, either New York or New Jersey. I saw one thing that said New Jersey. I don't know. Could look up where the New Rochester is. Let me see if I'm saying that right. New Rochelle. Rochelle. There we go. Uh, I've seen the first ha Happy Death Day 20 times uh, the first week it was on DVD. Why? <laughs> no end game is three infinity war is two hours and 40 minutes that's 20 minutes less or is that without the uh credits 
maybe it's a little bit less than that. Maybe two hours and 25 minutes then. Uh, BFEB, you upload more than me. He's barely uploaded in the past two weeks. It's crazy. I can't believe it. I mean, you uploaded one thing, the Super Mario stuff. Yeah, did you see new sets came out, BFEB? Or, uh, oh, wait, no, never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I forgot. Brick Vibe tricked me. I looked at it, and uh, I remembered that it's uh, the ideas one that he was showing off instead of an uh, actual sh set. But set names, actually, um, seems like they appeared or set numbers. That was interesting. But you didn't report on that, did you, BFEB? Dead. I mean, he disappeared. He's on mute. We lost a BFAB. A wild BFAB is gone. So let's see how many sets there are. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen, fourteen. Quite a bit. I'm going to do it differently. Eight. Eight. And try and go by fours. 12, 14. Okay, so I did 14 right. Uh, I don't know, to be honest, Law. Okay. <laughs> Beef is back. Hello. <clears throat> and uh, fell onto my bed. So. What? You fell off your bed. Okay. He lost his Death Star? So, yeah, yeah, it's pretty bad. Right. Yeah, and so I ended up like tripping over the bed and uh, falling on my bed, so it was great. <laughs> Jeez. Um, let's see. I just so happened to run out of toilet paper today, so I went to Costco, but it was all sold out because of the overreacting people stocking up and ended up uh, having to go to Target. I'm glad that Target might have had uh, toilet paper for you then, because we went to um, Sam's Club today, and it was all gone, and paper towels. I wonder what they're using the paper towels for. Uh, let's see. My last four videos one week ago, one month ago, four months ago, one four months ago. Yeah, I've, I've barely uploaded uh, videos nowadays. I will potentially upload a video before I leave for basic, if I do leave. Uh, definitely a video whenever I come back with uh, the before and after. Uh, so, yeah, looking forward to that. Welcome back, Brick Collector. It's panic buying for tissue. For, for tissue, yeah. Have you uh, gotten your tissues, uh, brick collector, tissue paper, bath tissue paper? That's what it's called, I guess, at Sam's. All right. Did I do everything? Should I do my sister's? I don't know, someone suggested that. I forget what else I had to do. I just got the main addresses down, so that's good. What are you doing? Getting my list of uh, people to call in case of emergency or uh, me. Ah, uh, okay. I hope I'm on that list. If not, I'm gonna be really pissed off. So. Call my friend Bfab. He will know something. <laughs> Just say he has Corona, and then they'll totally let me in. So today we are doing a drill. Can you survive Corona with a guy who has Corona? So <laughs> no, we're doing an exercise. It's not a drill. Or unless it's just like a, uh, oh, he has Corona. He actually has Corona beer. So that's a drill. <laughs> so I guess Corona beer sales have been down since the whole epidemic. Makes sense. So. Definitely makes sense. <laughs> I'm See. like, oh, okay. Uh, I have some stock for tissue. <laughs> yeah. My stepmom was joking that uh, we own $2.8 million worth of uh, tissue stock now. Uh, I guess we have quite a bit coming. So, my... Eric, also, I had this idea. I don't know. Well, it's not my idea. It's a, it's a bunch of people's ideas. So I was thinking that on your last stream, we get a bunch of your streaming friends over the, like, years, right? Okay. So you get, you'd get me, you'd get Jeff, you'd get Shy, you'd get Collecting, you'd get you, and you'd get Mike. What do you think about that? Okay, sure. Good idea. Last yeah, stream. Wait, what are we doing? Okay, on those last stream, like, the people that have, like, either been, like, cool with Eric or, like, good friends with him for a while, like, we get those people on the stream. So, like, you, Chai, me, Eric, Jeff, Mike, collecting, 
So those guys, like people who have streamed with Eric over the years or whatever. So. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that'd be a good idea. So. I wonder who we had early, early on. I mean, I'm down. I mean, okay, he's okay. Shad's down. I mean, I could always try to get back. Like, if we could bring back like older people, I could get back Lego Andrew just as like a farewell. I think he'd show up. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he's unfiltered like you, so I guess that makes sense. But uh, let's see. I, I want to see the old streams. Let me try and pull it up. Actually, let me go to the channel first. And sort by old. Let's see, my aunt, my cousin, my mom, and I got Alexa for free. We got, we each got one. Lawn story. Lawn store. Uh, my family in total has like 10 Alexas in total, and two of those are mine. I guess my family has four here, living here. My mom has like two. My sister has like three. So. I guess we outrank you. Maybe <laughs> we have a lot. <laughs> I have one myself too, so it's pretty crazy. But I don't even use it. It's locked away. She's a bad girl. <laughs> she listened on to one of my dad and myself's conversation yesterday about uh, the coronavirus. So I was like, "Yeah, I don't trust this woman." <laughs> I have corona, but you know, you you just gotta have some corona sometimes. It's great. I am corona. You know what's so funny? I think I told you guys this. So the uh, the lady that I went on a job interview with for working at Total Wine, she totally wants me yeah. to work there. She literally sent me like a bunch of emails. Like, oh, just, you know, making sure this, that. And I'm like, oh, my God, she really wants me to work there. But I don't really want to work at 6 in the morning. Ooh. Like, the thing is, the good thing, right? So I'd be offered 10-hour days if I want, four days a week, right? So 40 yeah. hours. But I'd also be guaranteed – at least five to ten hours of overtime every week. How if you're working full time, are you getting like benefits, like medical? Yeah, dental, full benefits. Dental. Literally, you get all that stuff within the first month. Dude, that's a good job. Yeah, that's you can what need that now, saying. especially with the coronavirus running around. <laughs> you know, the good thing is that I'm on my dad's insurance till I'm 26, so that really helps. Oh yeah, you're still you're still good, but hey, that's gonna run out soon. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. And you I mean, plus, I want some new teeth. pearly white teeth. So I, yeah, I mean, I'm still thinking of doing Instacart though, because the guy's talking he makes twelve hundred a week doing Instacart, and that'd pay me a lot more. The thing is, I need to find my freaking ID because when I go to these job interviews, I'm presenting them an old permit, which is fine for them to take. Do they just want photo verification, right? They don't care about your driver's license, but these other wait, places, don't they verify that when you actually start your employment though? Um, no, because they just they just want photo ID. Um, for like low level jobs, they don't really care. Oh my, um, oh my god, that's want... a, not a thing here. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, no, you, you need to bring your passport and a driver's license and like a birth oh, dude, dang. Social security card. It's crazy. <laughs> Gotta love Kelly. <laughs> yeah, Kelly seems really, uh, you know, uh, specific but, about things. Yeah, well, yeah we, have, like, the, the, we have the strictest like employment laws like out of everyone in the States. I don't even have a passport, so like I totally fail with that. Do you have the real ID? I do somewhere. <laughs> the real Having ID, the new that, one that you're supposed to have. He, oh, I haven't got it uh, upgraded yet. Because, yeah, you know, that's what you I need. should probably do that soon. Well, also, you should, you're supposed uh, to do it by October. Yeah, October. Oh, so oh. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, I still have a little time. Dude, that's, oh, not, okay. that's around the corner. <laughs> that is true, but also the. Um, uh, I had this uh, written warning, and the guy said, call with your insurance. I know this has nothing to do with that. He's like, do it after seven days uh, to uh, to get rid of this ticket or something. And uh, I haven't called. I lost the ticket. So uh, I'm hoping they don't suspend my license over that. I don't know if they would, or they just actually now send me a ticket that I actually have to pay for. because. I mean, don't they have yeah. to? I'm uh, sorry. I don't know your laws that well, so I can't really say anything, but... Normally here in Cali, we get sent another one, like a reminder. Like, hey, yeah, you owe I, blah, 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 blah. So that way when you actually is, go to court for it, you're screwed if you try to defend yourself. Yeah, well, he just said I need to call and provide my insurance and, you know, the, the ticket wouldn't be uh, valid anymore, right? And I lost the ticket. Um, and now that I have my insurance, I can't find the ticket, so. Uh, okay, good luck on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't you and call the, wait, who gave you the ticket? Uh, the cops. Well, call the police department. 
Okay, I'll do that. They'll, they should be able to provide it. They'd be like, hey, I'm trying to pay this fine or whatever, or provide my uh, fix it, whatever, or whatever. I was uh, I was given a ticket on this day and this day. Uh, my license plate is this, this, and this. Um, I can't just get the information so I can take care of it, and they'll do it. Okay. I didn't know that. Well, I mean, they have, a, they have a record for it, so you've got to have... The other thing, I have a reputation, because when I was uh, little, not little, yeah, when you're I was a younger... Girl. Well, yeah, that too, and the because I lived in the rich area, and now I'm back in the rich area... They know me by name. Like last yeah, time, they'd just... be like, "Hey, what's up? It's Peyton." <laughs> oh, oh. I, hey, I just need to pay off a ticket. Come on. <laughs> I think it's hilarious that uh, last time my mother decided to call the cops on me, um, for the hell of it. Um, she decided to call the cops on me because what did I do? I, I told her off, so she called the cops on me, and I drove off and went to the tanning salon. Um, and uh. Uh, they said, yeah, we remember Peyton. And I'm like, oh my God. Awesome. <laughs> That's cool. Cops know you by heart. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad That's, because like every week they show now. up. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. It really does. So, Plus, you know, nobody likes cops. for them. Okay, here's the thing. I get along with cops all right, but I just, I don't care to be around them because, you know. Iceberg's cops. a cop. Yeah, but he's a fake cop. <laughs> <laughs> he's a fake cop? <laughs> He's New Jersey PD, isn't he? Uh, he lives in Maryland, so. Oh, okay. Uh, Maryland PD. I assume that. Here's the thing. I originally thought he was lying, but he said he was a little league coach, but I guess he's back to being a cop or something. I mean, it's a good gig. I'd hate to be a cop. <laughs> Same. It's horrible. Because people hate you. Even if you're a good person, they hate you. <laughs> so. It's a thankless job. Yeah. Oh, for sure. That being said, when you meet nice cops, they're usually really nice people and they want to help you out. Let's see. I get along with cops. Good. I've seen them in a regular basis. Hello, that stud. Must, must be nice. To send to you. State cops are cool around here. Always see them on the accidents we go on. Well, that's cool. Don't get in their way or else they will arrest you. Like a couple of uh, firefighters that you've seen viral videos of. <laughs> <laughs> See, I literally cried watching a YouTube video today. Don't worry. It was a cry of joy. It wasn't even a real cry. <laughs> What'd you, what? what was the video then? What was the video? Let's see. My Sharon. 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 What? I thought of that song. That That's a song. Sharon. Sorting sucks. I don't know. <laughs> Sharon. So I'm looking at the uh, third live stream that I had ever. There's someone that came on, but I don't know what the name of that person is. Let me listen to the voice. We can uh, have a wide variety of people to support her back then. Put in the giveaway. Oh, that's interesting. Took a photo of the Age of War. Oh, we're going back in time, are we? I don't have... Speak who you are. The volume up. Hold on one second. Oh, uh, really? Who the hell is shooting fireworks right now? Yes. Welcome to the stream. Glad uh, you're here. Papa, it's okay. It's okay. It's just fireworks. It's just fireworks. So we're just trying to get more people in here. I think I did my face reveal there for a second. <laughs> yeah, the capital. Yeah. Who is that? To stay away from the camera and stand up now. All right. So I have no idea. One of my early friends before BFab. Then uh oh, we lost BFab. No. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Someone shooting fireworks. I gotta figure out who this is. So I'm All trying right. to stop. Call the cops. Hold on. Get them over there. Oh, no. Screw calling the cops. I can go handle this myself. <laughs> you just walk out with a gun and then they'll stop. <laughs> I yeah. showed up at a perfect time and walk out with a gun. Okay. <laughs> walk out with the gun. I wouldn't do that. Oh, okay. It's okay, Ezra. They're, they're done. They're not shooting fireworks anymore. A video of a guy asking a girl to marry her. <laughs> Or a video of a guy asking a girl to marry him. 
Wait, Wait, a guy uh, asking a girl to marry what? Yeah, he cried of joy for that. <laughs> oh, if a girl ever asked me to marry her, that's when I take out the crowbar. So yeah, it's cool. I cried to my wife when I proposed to her in the middle of the road. That was awesome. And, and then he got hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, the way I, my whole proposal like kind of went to shite. Like I had this whole plan about proposing to her, like in the like in the beach and all that kind of stuff, but like everything just kept going wrong and. We're on we're on my motorcycle and it started to rain. So I had this whole thing planned and I ended up just pulling the motorcycle off the road by the beach, but it was dark, it was pitch black. And then I made this like scrapbook of uh, like our memories from when we were kids all the way up until now. And it was like a poem written to it. So like at the end of it, you know, it said like it rhymed with will you marry me? And then uh, once you got to that point, I like dropped the ring right in front of her and then it was it was cute. It was raining. I I had the like my light on my motorcycle like as the light it was a, it was actually pretty cool it made me cry and, and then um, all of a sudden he got sick the next day because it was so raining and stuff and cold it was a beautiful and... ride home when we were both riding the rain oh <laughs> tight what do you think Shy and his wife look like the supermodel couple you know they look like they should be on magazines the whole fam so the wife for sure I'm just there for the ride. <laughs> no, all of you guys. I I can't just say your wife. That's weird too. No, it's not, it's all good. I know. I know she's pretty. <laughs> you don't have to like say. You don't have to hide behind that. See the purple clothing you saw. No, I was gonna, no. Chad's gonna say you did your wife a favor. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. She's the one that's settling. <laughs> you could have got so much higher, she's, guy. Oh, no, she. she <laughs> I I got as high as I can get. Put a ring on it. Call it a day. Uh. But I mean, the thing that, that I like about your, like, even just your vlog, Shy, you just see your family, you guys always seem happy. Like, I know in vlogs, you would show the positive stuff about your lives, but like, mm -hmm. you seem to have a fun life. Yeah, even if it's good. not stress-free, it seems fun. <laughs> True. It is. It's fun. I love it. Next vlog I'll film will be called Visiting Shy and Cali there. That's a, yeah, that's there you a go. Good. Beef at pays <laughs> a visit. Unannounced. Yes. <laughs> I show up to your front door. Like, just who see, the hell are you? Oh, my it'll God. literally just be footage of my cameras looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, five seconds later, like, the cops show up. It'll, it'll be a good one. Like, that'll be a really funny video. Like, everyone in the community will love that video. Yeah, you're like, right. BFAB's, BFAB shows up unannounced, gets arrested by cops. That'll be, like, the thumbnail <laughs> with you, like, <laughs> LAPD, like, has you, like, in the my back on, on, on the hood. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll, instead of like cropping that i'll just put your like like sig fig as like the thumbnail it'll be it'll be awesome i already have this planned oh. out that'll be sick let's oh, do it wow wow this is gonna be a setup <laughs> let's do it. It'll be funny. i look at it like this and maybe you guys don't have this uh same feeling but don't you hate when people drop by your house unannounced um yeah <laughs> yeah especially okay, if i'm like... naked you know what i mean i got i'm like oh i gotta change <laughs> Come on, man. And the like kid a... runs the door. My dad's on the toilet. Exactly. <laughs> I just think, I think it's weird because I know my dad used to do that when I was a kid, and I was so embarrassed. But he'd be like, oh, yeah, we're, we're going to go visit this person today. I'm like, do they know you're going to? No. I'm just going to surprise them. I'm like, yeah, I don't know if they really want that to happen. So Let's see. JD Vlogs is the channel. The video is like four months old. He double checked to make sure. Gotcha, man. It's cool. Why do you watch these people? <laughs> Why do you watch these people? <laughs> Just because they propose to each other? I mean, they might have good lives. Interesting. Are they from LA? <laughs> Maybe. Everyone in LA has a good life or a fun life, it seems. Yeah, because they, they're fake. <laughs> that is true. You know, you're not wrong. <laughs> like half uh, of LA are transplants. They're not, they're not even from LA. You're right, yeah. I'd love to go on a vacation to LA this year. Maybe I'll do it later. For this come year. come but to I, Bricks LA. Because we can go to convention at the same time. It's in January. August? Like, like, in oh, January. January. oh, oh yeah. that's not a bad idea. It's a good time I to travel because it's after, after the holidays and then you can come you know, like to an actual brick convention, especially one that you've never been to. Yeah, I mean, that's not a bad idea. Um, I think for me, I mean, I think Ryan was mentioning this and I don't know how much of you guys would be down right now, either Shy or Eric. Um, I think you were in the call, Shy, where we said that we should have a YouTuber's cruise in like November or October. Dude, that'd be sick. That would, yeah, that'd be awesome. Like, no, like Lego related, but we all just go hang out on a cruise. That would yeah, be freaking. That would be some interesting vlog. Oh yeah, I would love that. It would be so great because I've never been on a cruise, and cruises I think are like eight hundred to a thousand dollars, which isn't bad in reality. 
If I you think... just make sure if you ever do a cruise, get the alcohol package. Yeah. <laughs> no matter how much that costs, just make sure you get it so that way it's unlimited alcohol the entire time because you'll spend five hundred dollars like nothing on alcohol. Okay, I like that idea. Thank you for letting me know. But uh, I honestly think that'd be a perfect idea. Like, great. especially like October, November. Like, if we all could plan that out for like a week or two, whatever, how long the cruise lasts, I think that'd be perfect because it gives us all time to put away money. You um, know, two. if you can't do it, you know, or probably you know, three, or something. three days, maybe. Like, well, I mean, oh, three day, I'm even down for that. Three day cruises are good. Five day cruises are better. Seven day cruises are awesome. If it's a two week cruise, hell yeah. But right, whatever, I'm the Mediterranean cruise of two weeks. Then I think we all need to talk more about this in the, you know, in the next couple of months. So for sure, I think that'd be cool. Uh, just a hangout session with a bunch of YouTubers, Lego YouTubers, and partying oh. and on a cruise, and it won't just be Lego focused. We could talk Lego, obviously, because we're a bunch of nerds. But so you know, it's gonna be a bunch of guys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, basically, yes. <laughs> a bunch of dudes. I mean, you can bring your wife. Yeah, I'll bring my spouses come. I was about to say, so that it's, way it can feel like clear cruise. You know I'll bring mean? my concubine. So <laughs> there you go. I'll just rent a, a hooker on Craigslist. So let me know if that works. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, oh no! I almost dropped my. <laughs> there we go. I'm looking at cruises right now. Sky, don't drop the soap. Come on. Duh. I've done that before. <laughs> have fun Eric showering with a bunch of men I know it's going to be so weird especially the first night Eric's it's, always fun to, Eric. it's always fun uh, let me give some piece of advice it's always fun to compare <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> just run with it just run with it that's big. if someone does it just run with it screw it Ex- you only live once if you don't accept me with a small dick then you're kind of fucked so. yeah but if someone calls it out just be like eh, what happens next <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Eric's gonna be the type of person to get a rack and sound with a bunch of guys. <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> Trust me, that'll be the last thing that's on your mind because I know for for at least the Marines, like they put stuff in the eggs so you can't get anything. They do they what? So we what? they put stuff in the eggs, oh. right? So that way the last I mean you're so stressed out already enough as it is and tired that you're not even thinking about that. But like yeah. They put stuff in the egg so that way it helps not get excited <laughs> while you're That's training. Crazy. One less distraction. I was trying to get excited, you know? Like, woo, you, you wanted to get excited? I want to get excited. Here's the thing when you're so small, you have to get excited and nobody sees oh. anything. <laughs> 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 Let's see. November 29th. I don't think I could do that, too, but. Uh... Seven seven nights? Is it four seventy nine only? That well, that's be, a good deal. That would be amazing. That's better than a hotel. I think if you plan things in advance, you end up getting way better deals, you know, compared to getting a last second. There, there's one for like five thousand. Oh, I mean I can't afford that one. <laughs> I, I know. But I'm, I'm just saying hopefully Unless you wanna pay it for all of us, Eric. What's we'll, we'll what's the cruise line? In this carnival and it's out of Baltimore. Oh, so I gotta uh, fly all the way over there. <laughs> Baltimore. Well, where does it go though? Like go where? To, where it? Whoa, what was it? Uh, let's get the the track here. The uh, Baltimore at sea at sea, Prince K's Bahamas Island, uh, NASA Bahamas Island, Freeport Bahamas. And then at sea, Baltimore the next day. So it's eight day, seven night cruise. CMD MK, thank you so much for coming. Have a good night. Later, man. Rick Collector, thank you so much for coming. So yeah, Later, man. The Bahamas, uh, two destinations of Bahamas and a private island. But uh, it doesn't say if there's four seventy nines per night. I hope not <laughs> that's a lot so did not so the suite though is 1264 shape balcony isn't as isn't much more than uh that so i think i'll do the balcony as long here's the thing as long as we all go on this cruise and i get my own room like we all get our own room so i don't have to share with anybody but that's when you kill people right like you hang out on the during the time right but you get your own room right so yeah Hey, some of the best sleep I've ever had is on a cruise ship. 
Oh, I believe it. I believe it. I just really want to go to a cruise, and I just feel like with a bunch of friends, that would be even better. So. Oh, yeah. There's nowhere to go. You're just stuck yeah. on a ship together. Yeah. I mean, don't they get off, like, uh, certain islands or whatever? Yeah, you can look wherever at it's going, there's a, you get, like, 12 hours to be on shore or whatever. Oh, that would be fun, though, just to explore the islands, too. So. Let's see. Uh, so, November 15th would probably be the best day for me. Minimum wage is plummeting. Oh dang! So that's five sixty nine though. It's quite a bit. But yeah, it has all the times. So we would arrive at eight a.m. at the private island and leave by five p.m. Eight a.m., five p.m., seven a.m., one thirty. Yeah, so it's it's pretty interesting. Ooh see everything that's awesome shit's pretty big why is it ow my airpods all in my ear and i said ow <laughs> excuse me <laughs> all right am i see your citizen maximum four guests in a stateroom Ooh. But oh shoot, then you pay one. How nice are the rooms and cruises? That's the thing. Like I've never been in a cruise. A, I mean, like I said, like when are you gonna be in the room when you go to sleep? So, I mean it really yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah. They're tiny though. They're not like if you want like a good like if you want a hotel size room, you're spending like a ton of money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because uh, there's not a lot of room to begin with. And well, if you want a nice room that's huge, well, you're gonna pay for it. Yeah, but no, I'm down really... for a small room. So. Well, I mean, just get a normal room. It doesn't really matter. Like the only time you'll be on it's when you're going to sleep. If yeah, you make it to, yeah. if you make it there. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. I just want to have a lot of fun. I just feel like that's such a fun thing to do: hang with people and have fun. So. Yeah, no, it's dope. I love I love cruises. I'm always down to take a cruise. So we're calling it October, it's... November, guys. Okay, you guys better make it. Did that just go up? Or else. Or else. Yeah, oh, okay. looks, like, looks like you'd have to share it. So to make it cheap on us, we'd have to share a room. So well, I mean, even a thousand dollars isn't bad. So well, if you, know, you cut that in half, that's what you would pay. Yeah, but I feel like a lot of people would rather have their own room and pay more than well, share with somebody else, especially if the room's already small. Or feet just for you. <laughs> How much square feet? 185 square feet just for you. There's not, there's nothing like that's that. That's not a lot of space in reality. Yeah, but you're just sleeping. It's the size of a gel cell. And you're uh, taking a shower. <laughs> and... Oh, god damn. You're right. Oh, I've been in one before. Yeah, uh, so yeah. there you go. That's all. Oh, that was need. dreadful. Is it really? Oh, my God. No, it's not, it's not that tiny. Okay. It's, it's say... like, it's like, uh, it's like three gel cells. Or two. Oh, even, that's fine. That <laughs> I was about to say, you put me in one of those things, I'd go freaking nuts because, uh, you know, I've been in jail before and it's not that fun. So, okay, one is not. We can't do that one then because uh, this is uh, a bed combined. <laughs> Shy, wait, you've been in jail too? Uh, not jail. Oh, juvie. Not juvie. Uh, yeah, jail. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Why is I kidnap somebody. So no, it's just for something stupid. It was like <laughs> okay. being a rowdy, and then they let me go the next day, and no charges filed, nothing. That's good. Yeah. It was, was self defense. It was self defense. <laughs> I was self defense. I get that. Yeah, so I was. It, uh, it was like arrest everybody type of deal, and then let everyone go. <laughs> oh, okay, I get it, that. it was all calm. You get it? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I can't relate. No, I'm just kidding. I've been to <laughs> you before. It was a very scary thing, especially like I think I told you guys this before. Especially since everybody thought I was white, that was not good. Especially when everybody like there was on my unit was black, and uh, yeah. So. Yeah, I get it. Colors everything. It is. Yeah, we're gonna Kinda beat sucks. your ass, white boy. Like, like, oh I'm, my I'm... god. Next forward, please. 
I actually, and then uh, uh, some dude it was funny as hell. He walks and he's like, "You guys actually think he's white? Have you not seen his nose and lips?" And I'm like, "Oh, thanks, dude. Screw you." <laughs> right. It's like, oh. And I'm like, thanks, I guess. But uh, they're they're still pissed. They're still gonna try to like beat my ass. Oh, I got threatened <laughs> to get killed so many times there. It's great. Cause I would throw a fit about the, the the dumbest stuff, and I'd be like. I have rights, and they're like, "You think this is a fucking hotel?" And I'm like, "No, yeah." <laughs> it's well, I mean, I, yes. Yeah. Well, the thing is, then I'm like, I need to talk to your boss and your boss and your boss, and then I like they try to get me in my room and I refuse. So then they end up like dragging me into my room, um, of my room, my kill cell, was not my room. Uh, so I just thought that was, but yeah. So I, I thought it was kind of funny because yeah. So at that time, I, I didn't think it was funny. I was very pissed off. So. Why don't I have warm water? <laughs> was that, was that what that is? What is that? Was that? No, no I, cable I, TV. Playing, I, I got, okay, so we can watch TV once a week. It was on a Wednesday. Um, but the reason I got angry was uh, I was they wouldn't tell me when I was going to get released uh, from Juvie. So I kept asking questions like, "We'll get back to you." They didn't, and then they refused. And then I would keep talking, and then uh, like. They'd be like, you need to go in your room. It's time for you guys to go back in your your cell. And so I was like, okay. And then, you know, but I said, you guys need to give me information. If you guys don't give me information, I'm not going in my cell. And then they they tell everybody to get in their cell and they go like in lockdown mode or whatever. I forgot what it's called. And then they had like a like a bunch of staff show up and uh basically uh drag me in my room. So yeah. Uh, sounds like good times. You missed those times? <laughs> You know what? It wasn't bad, guy. It wasn't bad. It simple I, times, right? Think, Just do it. I could write. A, I could. I could write a book on um, my life. So you should. Yeah, the thing is, people don't read books anymore. But I think it's very interesting. Like, I would love to do more Lego story times. Like, incorporate this the the stories and make them like Legoized. I guess, like, Dude, have stop motion involved. But yeah, that takes a lot. Like, um, I mean, right now you have nothing but time. Oh yeah, but here's the thing, Shy. If I accept this job, <laughs> if I accept this job, I I start like in a week. So yeah, that's cool. I started working a week too. <laughs> so then I, I kind of you know lost that time. So oh, so you just don't want to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> you want to chill. You, know, you just want to do squat. That's you cool. Know, that's up, really wrong with was, that. You know, if it was up to me, um, I would find a way to make this YouTube thing a full time job. But during those two months that I had, I didn't really care to make more videos, right? So it didn't really obviously help me. Yeah. So, like, I'd love to get ten thousand sub- subs this year, but if I'm not putting out any videos, I'm not going to reach that goal. I mean, I like the fact that you were doing things, other things, other than news. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I was definitely enjoying that. Yeah. I mean, I- I'm. Almost done with my script for my top ten direct to consumer sets, but I've been working on that script for like three days. Dude, so. if I put out like my city video before you put that video, I'll be pissed. <laughs> well, I mean, there's a lot of editing that got involved. I put all the photos are now in white backgrounds. Um, I need to download like movie clips and TV show clips and um, like for me, the thing about like top ten, you know, a lot of people are like, why would you script your top ten like that? Like freestyle it. I mean, it wasn't a bad idea, but the thing is, then you go all over the place, and I don't really want that to happen. Yeah, it's it takes more editing at the end. Yeah, you have to be, I mean, like, that's... cutting and splicing, all that kind of stuff. I get it. Yeah, that too, but it just doesn't even sound as good either. I mean, if you're just freestyling, like you could tell when somebody scripts a video compared to you know when they freestyle. And I used to freestyle my top times, and people thought they were all right, but once I started scripting them, I got such a positive response to scripting the top ten videos. So I'm like, well, if I want to do more top tens, I have to script it. And you don't want it to sound like crap. Like I can write a crappy top ten video, but I do research. I uh, make sure it doesn't sound like super what, what's the top ten? Top ten direct to consumer sets. What's what's on there? What do you have right now? I can't see the chat if anyone's talking. Sorry. No one's say. chatted for a little while. Well, what's what, uh, like, what's one people... set? Like what's okay, one set? Uh, one set is the uh, the Simpsons house. So. Oh yeah, that's a great one. Yeah, and the reason I put that one in there, I mean, that's the reason I was in a, a mental. Yeah, that's the reason why I got like, in trouble. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, we friends. won't. We won't dive into that. <laughs> oh yeah, we won't. Don't worry. I don't want to make people know too much of my life. Like people keep saying I should make a story time video for that one. I'm like, nah, that would backfire against me. That would. That in would that backfire. Case, yeah, in that case, you cannot win. 
Like for the stealing Lego one, people I lost a lot of subs that day, but that video is done amazing. Like people from like not even the Lego community has found that video. Like people who just like story time channels, um, have found that video. And you know, because you look through their subscriptions, they're not subbed to anybody Lego related. And uh, you know, so that that one reached a different audience, which I was really happy about. Um, so yeah. All right, it is that time. I need to go to bed. It is the next day for me. Wait, so wait. I, yes. Oh, it's staff, Lego Masters is on. I need to watch that. I don't know why I'm not watching it. What's going on? <laughs> all right. Uh, well, thank you all so much for coming. Really appreciate it. Thank you for panelists, Shy and Beef Fab, yeah. and have a good night. See you on Monday. Peace, Woo! guys.